Hey guys, it's Cole. I really hope that no one chews my head off for it, but I want to ask the stupid question. Should item level impact content outside of rating? I'm not talking about things like expert roulette because that's really not a concern. I'm talking more about Criterion. And I'm genuinely torn so I want to discuss it here. It's no secret at this point that Criterion Dungeons allow gear up to item level 635, which is going to be the same item level as best in slot weapons to be taken into them. And I'm not even talking about savage Criterion Dungeons, I'm talking about basic Criterion Dungeon mode. Minimum item level to get in is going to be 610, which is a massive difference between a 635 weapon versus a 610 weapon. It's a massive rift. So when Criterion Dungeon was released this patch 6.25 and I'll be direct, it made a lot of people really frustrated and resentful wondering where's the content for me? What am I meant to get out of this as a, say, mid-core or casual raider? And I spoke with probably 100 people sharing this sentiment telling me their thoughts on this. Like when I released my Silky Guide video, I had some people being like, oh, it must be nice to have all that gear so that you can do this content. And I'm like, oof. So yes, the rewards suck and I did a video specifically talking about them and that purple chair. I think rewards do need to be improved, uh, but the worst of it is a lot of people including people that I know who have cleared P8S a few weeks ago but they are say a healer this is a very common situation is as a healer they are the dead last person to be given the Abyssos weapon because you need all of the DPS that you can to get through P8S phase 1 DPS check smoothly just for instance P8S phase 1 obviously the other fights benefit and I'm not here to rally against that because that's just logical. If you give me as a scholar the weapon coffer before anyone else in the static, you're making a bad decision. Even white mage is a better candidate, so don't give me that weapon. But this resulted in frustration for a lot of people and continues to. I've heard people throw in the towel more than more often than not over the item level disparity than just the rewards. Taking a quick moment, we have had lots of different types of content that have had basically no item level be raving successes. We've had Boja, we've had Eureka, we've had Palace of the Dead, we've had PvP. All of these are game modes that I've seen a lot of people take part in in Final Fantasy XIV, and none of them had an item level requirement. I think to their great advantage. So me talking about this is not some kind of brand new raving crazy lunatic idea. It is like we have seen this consistently through the years and this is a bit of a deviation. Let's talk about the impact of item level. The difference between taking in a character with an item level of say 620 or below or god forbid you're in crafted 610 even with pentamelts. Ooh. But this item level disparity puts you not at just a tiny disadvantage in the content compared to your peers, but a hulking mass of chiasm. The amount of damage your tank takes goes up, the percentage of their health that every auto takes away from them goes up, the amount of barriers and heals your healers can put out is massively less. Actually, you can survive mechanics flat out if you have enough gear in. <laughs> criterion which the size of the bear getting back to the healers with the bears the size of the bear does count don't let anyone lie to you and tell you that the size doesn't mean anything because with bears it does in before comments call me a barrier size queen but in criterion dungeons you can quite literally invalidate nullify whatever word you want entire mechanics like knockbacks bleed mechanics if you have enough bears and that's very significant Eston slot scholar and sage dramatically has an easier time doing that i i cannot emphasize that enough dramatically easier time deploying those big bears obviously that's not even getting into dps checks doing more damage but gets faster clearing of trash and raid bosses to flat out not see those mechanics if if it's dead it's not going to do them so anyone saying item level doesn't matter here is and with all due respect absolutely snorting their own farts and is flatly lying to you it literally makes you able to avoid mechanics and nullify them. So at this point, if you have less than best in slot, you're doing Criterion Dungeons on Dark Souls mode. In fact, I have still yet to see anyone do a Dark Souls challenge run of a team of full 610. And I think it may be doable, for sure, probably is, but it'll require a hell of a lot more planning to pull off for sure than 630. But talking about like the impact of item level, this is not a secret. Like this is another reason why anyone's saying otherwise is snuffing their own farts because it's like for years and years and years, we know that it makes things totally different. Like even my own experience of doing weekly reclears with my group, the difference between say P5S and P6S that we just did quick reclears on literally last night versus a month ago, the difference is night and day. P6 AoEs hurt. They hurt like a lot, but we need a lot less mitigation. P5S bleeds are awful, but compared to before, they're laughable. Like, if you stand in the poopy water, I'll be easily able to resolve it. 
it, I'm not worried. Item level makes a huge, massive difference in Savage rating. And maybe it's because I'm a berry healer. I, I acquiesce. Maybe it's because I'm a berry healer and I do need to focus on this kind of thing. That is my job. But holy heck, I feel it. <laughs> Moving on, let's get real about rating. And I've said this at least four times over the past few years on my channel, but I don't think it can be stressed enough. I think it needs to be said more often. At this point, about eight weeks into the raid tier, most casual players or mid-core players that I speak to do not have best in slot gear. In fact, most of them are still very very far from it or they are taking tombstone gear trying to use it like what is it that flex tape or whatever and just smack it on with tombstone gear and be like you know what i'm not gonna get the body for another six weeks so screw it <laughs> just patch up these holes and Twitch is an amazing place with amazing creators that I am either friends with or hope to one day be friends with. There is so many great people there. I love them, but that's not raiding reality. And I've even talked to a lot of them like flatly about this and they're just like, well, of course it's not raiding reality. Clearing the entire tier week one and being able to already buy best in slot raid weapon this week and being given the chest piece from their static is not normal at this point. It it's the exception. It's like what I was getting at before. Criterion Dungeon was released with patch 6.25 and I'll be honest, a lot of people very, very frustrated. There's obviously further problems than that because people are like, okay, the relic line is also just collect tombstones. This Criterion Dungeon, I can't take part in. And so you have, uh, and I don't want to use the word lightly, but I did use it before. You have some level of resentment building in the community where people are like, okay, what am I meant to do? I am not a savage raider and Criterion Dungeons, I could try and do, but I'm obviously at a massive disadvantage. We have no Boja, we have no Deep Dungeon, that is, I believe, coming in 6.3, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's coming in like two months from now. Uh, and people are just like, I have nothing casual to do, and so you are seeing this big lump of resentment, and I'm like looking at this and talking to people, and I'm like, oh shoot. We have, we actually have a significant problem here. Like a lot of what I'm talking about is more focused on like the mid core, like the people who do go on to YouTube and do watch kind of videos like this. We have a whole casual audience and ay ay ay. Like if you don't have a house, you I guess could PVP. If you aren't savage rating, I, I'm, I'm torn. So that's why I'm kind of bringing this up and I'm like, if we remove the item level, more people could probably give this a shot and hey, maybe they'd love it. Maybe this kind of dungeon content would be the shuttle to get them into Savage Raiding. I don't know, but that's just my thoughts. I really think it would be a positive to get more people into raiding. And I think that these fights are brilliant. Like Silky is one, not only a well-designed fight, but it's also really sparkly and pretty. I think that that would be a brilliant introduction for a lot of people, which I should add, I have cleared Silky Obviously, I made a guide video and other bosses in Criterion, not the Savage Criterion yet, uh, with very much below best in slot gear. I think I was item level 6, 17 or something when I cleared it. Silky the first time, that is. But anyhow, closing off this video, these are just my thoughts on it, and I do want to see, hear like what other people have to say in the comments because I think that this is... I, I don't know the answers. I'm just one guy. I don't know the answers and I'm just bringing up that I know people are mad. So yeah, anyhow, take care and have a brilliant day, everyone.